Well, the Chief of Defence Staff focused heavily on defence's role in protecting the rules-based order system of the world as he opened this Rusi Air Power Conference. He was looking ahead to the Strategic Defence and Security Review. One crucial question for that, he said, would be the future size and mix of the fast jet fleet because he said the RAF is challenged. The need to protect the skies over the United Kingdom and the Falkland Islands, to work with allies to deter Russian intimidation in the Baltics, to be our forward-based crisis response in the Gulf, and to be our most significant national contribution to degrading Daesh in Iraq. All this whilst managing the fast jet transitions from tornado and typhoon to typhoon and JSF have put us at the very limits of fast jet availability and capacity. Well, shortly after that speech, I spoke to the head of the Royal Air Force, the Chief of the Air Staff, and I asked for his thoughts on whether the fast jet fleet and its servicemen and women are at their limits. Well, I don't think it's uh, any secret that the, uh, the fast jet force is stretched. Um, primarily, we are a force of two types, the Typhoon, which is looking after quick reaction alert, both in the UK, the Falklands, and of course, we've got a squadron supporting NATO Baltic air policing uh, out in the Baltic region. Uh, but on the Tornado Force, and it's the Tornado GR4 that is primarily engaged in operations over Iraq at the moment uh, from a combat air sense, uh, because of the nature of the weapons on, uh, that are available on that aircraft. Uh, and of course, it's, uh, it's only six months or so ago that the government decided that rather than uh, disbanding one of those squadrons in the sp last spring as intended, that they would keep that for, for another year. So that is because that particular force uh, is effectively fully engaged in supporting those operations. So it's, uh, it's my expectation that uh, we will make a case to keep that squadron beyond the April of next year. Is the stretch in terms of hardware or what's being lost to people, or is it both? Well, interestingly, it's the people. As always, it's the people that are our most precious asset. Uh, and if, uh, if you realize that the Tornado GR4 is actually an aircraft that's slowly going out of service, its final out of service date is 2019, uh, we're actually in a situation we've got more aircraft available to us than we've got crews to fly them and uh, engineers to maintain them. So the real issue here is the engineers and the pilots and the uh, weapon systems operators. We know the government is considering whether to ask Parliament for authorization to extend airstrikes beyond Iraq and into Syria. If the RAF was asked to extend that, would it actually have any more to offer, given the, the, the stretch that you've spoken about? No, of course, that is a, a political decision to, to broaden the area of operations. Um, and in that case, that, that would simply be a change of the geographical scope of the operation uh, I have nothing, uh, as it were, more to add uh, in terms of aircraft for the reasons we've discussed. There are, there are no more to put into a fight. Uh, of course, we have uh, other missions going on around the world, including uh, in the Baltic air policing role for the typhoons. Uh, how much, that's a relatively recent operation, how much pressure is that adding to the typhoon force? No, it's, uh, it's not recent, I'm afraid. It's something we've been doing for uh, uh, many, many years. Uh, the, the Baltic states themselves are, are not large enough or rich enough to, uh, to own their own uh, fast jet capability. So NATO has been looking after their air defense, uh, their policing, as we call it, uh, for many, many years. And the Royal Air Force uh, has uh, contributed to that force uh, in the past. Uh, we were there last summer, we're there this summer, and of course the government has offered to NATO to do it again next year. Uh, and that, as I've described, from the five typhoon squadrons we have, uh, is, a, is a task that we take from, uh, from uh, within those five squadrons.